What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com and make a purchase. Next time you guys also want to make a purchase, use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. Also on the same website, if you ever want to sell your coins, you click on the help center and click on the selling section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel. Yeah, boys, and I'm here to give you guys the most meta, if not most overpowered teams for under 100,000 coins in EAFC 24 Ultimate Team. I know a lot of you guys are not going to put a lot of money into the game, or you guys are running an RTG like myself. So currently, I do have some players, in my opinion, that are very nice and are going to be really good for you guys that are under that 100k or around the 100,000 coin range. With that being said, let's get into the first squad right now. All right guys, so for our first squad, looking around under 100,000 coins, 98,000 to be exact by the time I drop this video on the PlayStation and Xbox market. We got this squad right here. A lot of meta players, a lot of familiar places, faces I should say. Let's go ahead and start out with the defense. Goalkeeper, we got Mendy, fairly tall in game. We got Mbappé at the right back spot. We got Ibanez. CB from the Sally League with 85 pace and medium high work rates, 82 defending, 81 physicality. I know a lot of people are going to be using this card. It looks fairly meta. Next CB right next to him from the Sally League as well is Mr. Koulibaly. We know all, all about Koulibaly's vibes, man. Very nice body type in game. Very tough to get past them. 76 pace, 84 defending, 83 physicality. Give him that nice shadow chemistry style. He's going to be a lengthy. Pace goes up to the 80s. Defending goes up to the high 80s. It's going to be a very nice addition. I know a lot of people are going to be using Koulibaly. Left back spot, we got Mr. Raum, 88 pace. You definitely want your fullbacks to have 80 plus pace in the beginning of the game. Then we got the midfield combination, which is really interesting. We got Kessie and Emery Chan with both 79 pace. And if you look at their stats, everything in the stats category is 73 plus, which is pretty solid. You know, they're very close to hulligan both over six feet as well so they're gonna do a really nice job whether you want them both to play defensively as a stay back or just just one of them stay back and the other one as a box-to-box -box midfielder then we got the wingers same max we all know same max five star skill moves 88 dribbling 89 pace gonna feel very nice on the ball even with this dog shit gameplay second one is going to be nabry nabry being 84 shooting double four 84 dribbling. He does have 81 pace. You give him the Hunter chemistry shot, it should go up to the high 80s, which is going to help out a lot. But the best thing about this team that I'm showing you right now is the two strikers. We got Adeyemi, that I'm sure you guys have heard of him from a lot of starter squads. A very broken with 96 pace, 81 dribbling, 68 physicality. He's double four. Double four with 96 pace, guys, is really crucial. And then you got the striker right next to him that plays in the same exact squad. Mr. Madeline, 82 overall, 89 pace, 80 shooting, 85 dribbling, double four as well. Really, really nice and good squad right here. Honestly, the, probably the least meta player in the team is Nabry, but you save up with the squad. You could save up for Sane. Sane is going around 20,000 coins. He's double four with 90 pace. Would definitely be an upgrade after Nabry. And then after Nabry, if you do want to upgrade another player in this team, you can save up for Frimpong. For Mbabu, Frimpong with 90 plus pace, a very quick. I know you, a lot of you guys like to use quick fullbacks in the beginning of the game. Very good option right here, in my opinion. Let's go into the second team right now. Second team right here, we're looking at a lot of familiar faces, some different than others, obviously. Team is going around, or under, I should say, 95,000 coins to be exact. Let's start with the strikers because these two strikers I'm currently using at the moment in my actual team on my account. You got Memphis Depay. And Joao Felix, both with five star skill moves. Felix with four star weak foot, the pie with three star weak foot. But that the pie three star weak foot does get a little bit compensated with the shooting because for some reason the pie and FIFA doesn't feel like he has a three star weak foot. I don't know if it's just me, but for me it feels like a four star weak foot. You got 82 pace, 82 shooting, 81 passing, 85 dribbling. He feels fairly nice, man. You give him a nice hunter chemistry style. He's going to feel very good on the ball, even in this bad gameplay. Similar to Joao Felix, yes, he did get a little bit of a downgrade compared to the past FIFA's belt. He still feels pretty good on the ball. You know, 85 dribbling, 81 pace. You definitely got to give him a hunter chemistry shot to boost up that 79 shooting. But still a very good option, and he's under 10,000 coins as well. Now we're going into the 
right mid and left mid spots left mid same max like i said previously five star skill moves 88 dribbling kind of feel very nice with those high low work rates when we got Angel Correa with 85 pace, 84 shooting, 86 dribbling, 75 physicality, high medium work rates. He's double four as well, so that's very, very nice. Then in the midfield, we got Mr. Rabiot, 84 rated, being at 6'3", around 20,000 coins with these stats, guys. That's really, really nice. 82 defending, 84 physicality, 80 dribbling. 6-3 guys. I'm currently using him in my midfield and he's really really nice. It reminds me a lot like Hullet. A budget Hullet you should say. And Benesha we got him at one cam. This is going to be the only card on this team at one cam but he still should play fairly well if you gave him the shadow cam. Which is that. What I like about this card is that he has 86 dribbling. He's 5-9. Has a nice body type so he's going to feel very nice on the ball. And contribute a lot being a box to box midfielder for this team. Now we're going to the fullback spot. We got Mr. Molina, high, high work rates, 85 pace, 79 defending, 78 defending, I should say, 71 physicality. And then we got Alex Valde with 91 pace. You definitely want your fullbacks to have 80 plus pace at this stage of the game. And if they got 90 plus pace, that's even better. The main con about this card is his physicality is really, really low. You got to give him for sure an anchor chemistry style. You give him the anchor, he's going to be completely set. And now for the CB duel, we got Mr. Bremer, who actually feels very nice. 80 pace, 85 defending, 83 physicality. He gets on lengthy as well. I'm using Bremer, my team, guys. And I thought he was going to be complete ass because with the past FIFAs, I do not like this card's body type. He feels very, very skinny in game. But he feels very big he looks insanely big similar to like van dyke as crazy as that might sound he's really really good guys take my word for it and then we got it again mr ibanez with the 85 pace and a lot of people are going to be using that cb from the Saudi league and goalkeeper we got alex romero you can put any goalkeeper from la liga that's from spain and this spot so really good squad right here in my opinion the best thing i like about this team is the two strikers five star skill moves you got to have really meta strikers at the beginning of the game to overtake those op center backs like van dyke lucio and those type of cards let's get into the third team right now all right now and for the third and final team this team is a little bit over a hundred thousand coins 104 sell some contracts quick sell some players in your club and you'll definitely have the budget for this team but we're looking at a team that has the two strikers that can the pie and felix those are probably going to be your two best options at the striker spot aside from either yemi um maybe timo werner is a good option as well because like i said i like using strikers with five star skill i know like i know some people don't really care about five star skills you're into the most double four cards then go ahead and pick up either yemi may lin those are going to be your best options that are not five star skill moves but if you're like me the pine felix definitely the way to go your right mids and left mids, you got Sane at the Yemi. You got both of them 90 plus pace. Double four, oof. You're definitely cooking down the wing with those two cards. Center mids, we're looking at Le Mir and Sergi Dardar with both 80 pace at the center mid spot. That's very, very nice. We got 83 dribbling, 82 passing from him right here. Le Mir got 78 dribbling, 81 defending. Definitely cooking up in the midfield with these two, with these two cards, I should say. Full back spot, we got Alex Balde. I do like that he can play at the right back spot as well. Left mid, we got Grimaldo that did make a move to the Bundesliga, so it's going to help out a lot with the links. Your CB duo is going to be Schlotterbeck. We all know Schlotterbeck, 6'3 in game with 85 defending, 82 physicality, and then you got Upamecano, 81 defending, 83 physicality, great links as well with Bayern Munich, Bundesliga, and French. And then goalkeeper can be any goalkeeper that's from Germany. I put Bauman. You know, you can put Neuer, but Neuer is really expensive. You don't need to be spending that much on a goalkeeper this early in the game. But yeah, guys, those are my three best starter squads, in my opinion, that I could come up with. With 100,000 coins or under 100,000 coins, you guys let me know who has which squad was your favorite. Obviously, you can put in players like Timo Werner here and, here and there. But at the Yemi man, being a double four, I think that's one of the best options you can use from Bundesliga. That's cheap. And from La Liga, the Pie and Felix. Also from the Prem, there's also a CB called Vardio that plays in Man City. I packed him on tradable. He has 78 pace. Pretty good stuff right here. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. He has 78 pace, man. And he actually doesn't look that bad. I'm currently using him in my squad right next to Bremer. 
And yeah, he's going for 29,000 coins. He gets a lengthy 80 acceleration, 76 sprint speed. Look at the, those defending stats with that physicality. Decent enough dribbling. You give him a nice, a not engine. Control lengthy is quite interesting, but I gave him the shadow because, you know, I want him mostly lengthy. Now, for some reason, in EFC 24, you get dual archetypes, which is quite weird. I might have to do a little bit more research on that. Control lengthy does sound interesting. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Let me know, guys, what's your budget for EFC 24? 50K, 100K, 500K, 1 mil. If this video does well, I will be uploading more videos on the best budget starter squads. I'll do a 500K vid. Maybe I'll do a 50K vid. Maybe I'll do a 1 mil vid. So you guys let me know. Thank you guys once again. Next video I'm going to be dropping is my best custom starter tactics for EFC 24 because I'm currently in Division 6 in division rivals i've played only one day of rivals and i've lost zero games of division rivals with my starter squad so i'm gonna drop that video later today tune into that man i'm i'm liking these tactics man i'm liking these tactics a lot that i've been using if you guys are watching my twitch stream you guys know which, which tactics i'm using but it's been your boy dan fifa i'll catch you boys next time and i'm out bye bye